If you make a really good game in 2017 with Steam having so many great games on it, the money will take care of itself. You'll find a way to bring money into your company. And so I think for me and the, the team now, it, it's, it's all about how can we make this great? How can we listen to the community, take what they're saying and apply it to a video game? When players play Battalion, I think I really want them to feel a, a little bit of nostalgia, but also like a clean, like a wave has gone over them of like, oh my God, I remember these FPS games. This is what FPS games should feel like. The dream for me is that Call of Duty and Battlefield look at what we're doing and tone down what they're doing. We aren't anything like Call of Duty World War II. The only similarity is that it is World War II. Call of Duty's gone so far in that direction um, of, of the game they are now, we're trying to go in a different direction. We're trying to revitalize those amazing games that they made originally, Infinity War making, you know, Call of Duty 2 and Call of Duty 4. We're trying to take that and say, why was that so good? Why did those games change the FPS industry? We've never ever said we're gonna be the best looking game out there because we're not. Most importantly, one of the reasons old school games were so good is because they were simplistic. They didn't have too many objects in the way. They didn't have too many shapes, not too many trees. You no know, shadows were nice and clean. You could always see people. We're in a constant fight with art for like, oh, we need it to look beautiful. And then we're, as a designer, we're like, yeah, but it needs to be, you know, we're pulling in two directions and you kind of meet in the middle of, okay, it looks, it looks good, but it works better for design. We think there's enough players out there that want to play what we want to play which is an old school shooter, the, the way FPS games used to be. It was really just, we're FPS players. When I was like, there's no FPS games out there, I really just want to play this one, let's make it. I said, let's just do it, let's build a Kickstarter in three months, let's launch it, let's see what people say. If I'm right, we'll have a game, we'll have a community, and we'll have people backing us. Luckily we were right, and uh, we have a really great community that helps us make this game, and we talk to them a lot, and. That was really where the idea came from, is that no one else is doing it and we just really want to play a good game because we're tired of what's out there right now. If we let our community dictate what they want the game to be, it'll evolve into something that they like. Instead of us trying to dictate what a game is, they're dictating to us and we're kind of meeting them in the middle. It comes down to, we know a lot about FPS games from an internal point, like looking at a game against code, looking at how a game should work and what, uh, from a technical standpoint, how it works and from a design standpoint. A lot of players look at it from just one, from a player's point of view. We are working on other things with some beautiful stuff and some awesome artwork and some really cool skins that go on the weapons. I'm, I'm really excited for uh, some of the Russian stuff, but uh, there's gonna be some cool things coming. We've got some announcements coming, uh, but you know, look out for Battalion. On the run up to Christmas, we're looking at coming out early 2018, so I'm excited to see uh, some more feedback.